Hello, welcome to Midlands Today. The headlines tonight. Another multi-million pound investment for the region, bringing a further thousand jobs to Coventry. It'll be a modern factory. It'll be the state of the art. It will have modern assembly lines, automatic uh, production capabilities. We'll be reflecting on a hugely encouraging week for Midland manufacturing. Good evening. First tonight, more good news for the region's manufacturing sector as another car maker announces a multi-million pounds investment. Geely, makers of the iconic London Taxi, is to build a new £250 million factory in Coventry, creating up to a thousand jobs. Today's news comes on top of Tuesday's announcement by HSBC that it was bringing a thousand jobs to Birmingham. And yesterday, Jaguar announced it was doubling the size of its HQ in Coventry, and today said it's investing a further £400 million at its factory at Castle Bromwich. By April next year, Tata's investment since taking over Jaguar Land Rover will have reached an eye-watering £13 billion. The investment by Geely in a new generation of zero-emission taxis was welcomed by London Mayor Boris Johnson, who, along with the Prime Minister, toured the factory this morning. Our business correspondent, Peter Plisner, reports. The Prime Minister and the Mayor of London learning how to build taxis in Coventry this morning. A visit timed to coincide with today's new factory announcement and news that it'll be used to develop a new hybrid taxi. I'm absolutely thrilled. It's great news for uh, the capital city, but I think it's great news for cities around Britain that will now have the benefit of the cleanest, greenest taxi, an iconic taxi anywhere in the world. Workers are also excited about yet more investment in a company that less than three years ago went bust. It's great for us, uh, great for the company, great for our future, basically, and for Coventry. There was always uh, a promise to invest, and they've made that promise good now. And at a press conference today, the company's new Chinese owners outlined what that promise involved. Later, its chairman told me why he'd chosen Coventry. For London Taxi, since day one, it was born and bred here in Coventry. So it has its unique and distinctive cultural features, together with its professionalism demonstrated by the entire workforce. Well, this is the site where the new factory will be, Anstey Business Park, already home to an advanced engineering centre and a customer care centre for the supermarket giant Sainsbury's. But now it'll be home to the London Taxi Company. They're spending £250 million on the new factory. It'll be 85,000 square feet in size and at full capacity it'll be able to produce 36,000 vehicles every year. And this is what it'll look like when it's finished in 2017, creating a thousand new jobs in addition to those already based in the city. Meanwhile, at Castle Bromwich in Birmingham, Jaguar Land Rover was showing off its new state-of-the-art aluminium body shop, the biggest investment the factory's ever seen. We want to take uh, leadership on lightweight uh, capability uh, for all of our products, so it makes absolute sense that we uh, put a new body shop into this facility. They're coming into halfway. And showing just how lightweight aluminium can be, the latest Jaguar XF model during a recent publicity stunt. Further evidence that the Midlands is now leading the way when it comes to technology for reducing vehicle emissions. And Peter's at the London Taxi Company right now. This uh, good news just keeps on coming, Peter. It certainly does. And of course, Sir Jaguar Land Rover spending billions of pounds on product and indeed infrastructure and the majority of that money being spent here in the West Midlands. But I think the sh uh, focus will shift in the coming years. There's lots of talk about them looking for a factory site in America, another one in Saudi Arabia, another one possibly in Europe, maybe Austria or Turkey. But let's not forget what they are investing here. As you said, they've uh, uh, expanding the site at Whitley and uh, that investment at Castle Bromwich. And Chinese investment keeps on coming as well. It certainly does. We had it with, uh, obviously, Shanghai Automotive and Nanjing, first at MG and Longbridge there, still investing, launching new products, launching another car uh, next month. Uh, here in Coventry, there's been quite a bit of activity. Cov Press, a metals pressings firm, it's been taken over by a Chinese company. It's expanding rapidly, and it's built a factory in China. Also, the company that makes uh, Jaguar's uh, veneer dashboards is owned by a Chinese company. And, of course, uh, we've had the, the takeover here at London Taxis. Uh, by Geely. It does appear that uh, 
West Midlands region is the, the first choice for Chinese investors. But can this pace really go on? Because there are worries, aren't there, about a global slowdown? Well, there are. And of course, uh, the Chinese economy is said to be faltering, but there's still quite a bit of growth there. The bottom line is the Chinese uh, want to develop uh, new technologies. They want to develop new products. And the expertise basically is here in the West Midlands. Peter, thank you. Well, Dr. Steve McCabe from Birmingham City University joins us now from our studios in Salford. Good evening to you, Dr. McCabe. Um, th this is good news for Coventry and in the region, isn't it? What a week. Well, what a week, yeah. It certainly sort of underscores the sort of renaissance of uh, Birmingham and Coventry and, of course, the West Midlands as, um, as a place where engineering excellence occurs. And do you feel this is a, con a trend that can continue in a, in a burgeoning economy? Well, let's hope so. I mean, quite clearly there's, there's lots of sort of headwinds, particularly from Europe. Um, we've got the election coming up in six weeks' time. We'll see what happens as a result of that. I mean, you talked about Chinese, uh, the Chinese economy slowing down. Well, it's still sort of three times what we've got. So, yeah, th these are still very good markets, and let's hope the, sort of the investment keeps coming. And we talk about all these jobs on the way to Coventry and Birmingham in particular at the moment. Um, is there a concern about finding people to fill those jobs? Because there is a worry about a skill shortage. Well, absolutely. I mean, that's the problem. Of course, we lost a lot of jobs in the 70s and 80s, and those jobs are not replaced. So what we need is investment in apprenticeships and bringing on the sort of the, the youth, the, you know, the next generation, which, of course, has been done by the local universities and colleges. But we need more of them. And indeed, you know, we need to sort of keep this, this rate of investment up. Yes, I mean, I mean, the government are constantly going on about how they're investing in apprenticeships and so on, but is enough being done, do you think? Uh, well, in all honesty, no. I mean, the government can always do a lot more. I mean, certainly in Birmingham, we've got sort of pockets of sort of um, youth unemployment, certain areas of, of up to 20%. You know, we need to sort of to rescue those kids. Dr Steve McCabe, thank you.